This is the map of love. My name is Josh Wando. I'm the lead exterior designer for Ford Maverick. Yeah, Lord is our new street truck. It gets inspired by fifth traditional street truck styling as well as tuner culture. Uh, it's gonna be focused towards autocross and drift events. Unique front grill on our Lorbo here. Uh, so it actually started with the wheel. We have it sitting on these 19 inch gloss black turbo fan style wheels. Uh, and we carried that styling into the grill here. So uh, relating to that concavity and these vertical lines. Yeah, brand new uh, black Ford Orbit. Um, you see this redesign on the 2024 F-150s as well and all our products going forward. We're part of that new generation. So the story behind Lobo. In 2019, I joined Ford. I walked into a design studio that had the pre-production model of the 2022 Maverick. And being a street truck guy myself, I looked at that with potential to you know, one day unite the shooter culture and street truck culture under a single platform. So I started modifying it like I would an end consumer, you know, wide body, uh, wings, um, splitters. Now those are crazy ideas for a production car, but it turned into what I think was an awesome SEMA vehicle to start 2021 Tucci Maverick. An uh, amazing team over there, Tucci Hot Rods helped build for us. Uh, they did a great job and, and the media reception was amazing. So what was the inspiration and direction on the headlights? So our new headlights feature some new tech to them. Uh, there's an LED projector unit, which is unique to the 2025 models. What that let us do is create a much slimmer, more modern headlight profile. And it also let us get this much larger LED signature light. It's gonna look great at night and it captures more of that iconic Ford 7 breath. So let me talk about this unique Lobo lower fascia. Special for the Lobo model is this body color element here. Now this gives a much more aggressive street truck, almost sports car look to the vehicle. And it also just visually plants it to the ground. We want people to feel like this is a handling machine that it is. So the styling reflects that. It keeps your eyes low and lean to the ground. So here's what's going on with our wheels. We have our Lobo sitting on these 19 inch turbo fan inspired wheels. We have been shown here in gloss black. Now this is a throwback to the 2021 Tucci Hot Rods build. And it's also just a visual signature that this vehicle is as much for the tuner culture as it is for the truck culture. We want that community to start being enthused with street trucks. And we're so excited to have that be part of the design. Turbo fans have become such a hallmark to that community. And I, I think it's really been embraced by people when they saw them on the truck. Our Negro model has larger brake rotors and upgraded calipers borrowed from a European ST. And despite what it looks like here, our cooling is Perfect for those. We wanted this sleek monochrome look across the series. So every Lobo comes with body color uh, skull caps and door handles. You'll also see the unique Lobo Fender badge with that brand new logo. Unique to Lobo is the body color skirts, again planting that vehicle to the ground. And on the rear, similarly, a unique rear fascia that goes away from the aggressive truck-like bumperettes and gives a more sleek sport truck styling. All 2025 models are gonna come with this black blend, and the logo features a black oval with it as well. Unique to Lobo is this body color rear bumper. Now that goes away from the truck-like bumperettes of the other models and gives this sleek street truck look. Our Lobo sits half an inch lower in the front and an inch and a half lower in the rear. That levels the stance and gives a much more athletic look. I'm um, Kristen Keenan, color and materials design. So what sets the Maverick Lobo apart from the other Mavericks trim is um, our, our colors and materials inside the interior are um, inspired by streetwear and by street style. So when you normally see like one accent color used, we're using um, two colors, the grabber blue and electric lime together. Together they create a really dynamic look that we think is um, appealing to the youthful audience. And um, you'll see on the steering wheel, we have the grabber blue and electric lime stitching with a black stitch in between to tie it together. We also have the grabber blue accents on the register vane panels. And then on the console and the seats, we have the accent stitching, um, the embossed Lobo logo. And my favorite part are the seat inserts. 
that have a unique emboss and then there's a graffiti print over, a grabber blue graffiti print. And for us, that's like really what ties in layering those textures and colors really makes it feel like it's inspired by streetwear, which is the vibe that we were going for. Yeah, so the, the screen, like the bigger screen, it's in all the Mavericks. So not unique to Lobo. It's, it's new for 25, but it's not, you know, unique specifically to Lobo.